Alright, you guys are probably thinking, we're done with the unboxings, we're done with, with the reviews, uh, we just want to see fishing videos, and we're sorry about that. We went out last Saturday, and we caught 40 fish, and we can't un upload the video for some reason. It just won't upload. Nathan's been trying every day this last week, trying to figure out how to upload it, and it just won't work. We're going to try and continue to upload that video, and if it works, you guys are going to see that next. But... We're sorry about that, and every video after this is pretty much going to be a fishing video until next winter, so sorry about that. Next, we want to give a big shout out to Peter Haskin. Now, this guy makes his own soft plastics, and he is awesome. He's going to be hosting an online tournament this May, coming up on May 1st, and to enter, you have to use his soft plastics. So just to enter, go to his channel, it's Peter Haskin and comment on one of his videos or email him and he'll set you up with that tournament but thanks to this guy he is amazing and Peter if you're watching this you're amazing so uh... yeah big shout out to him alright guys I just made another trip to Bass Pro before this tournament I have tomorrow at St. Chris Lake and I got a few stuff so this is going to be a real quick video because I didn't get a ton alright first I got new line I got Seagar Invisex line I like Seaguar a lot. I use it. It's really thin for the test. And it it just it's good line. It doesn't the knots no slip and I like Seaguar. Alright, so I ended up in going to Evergreen Lake, which is a lake around here, and fishing with the new Ike mini flip that I got and showed in the last video, and I really liked it. So I got two more. I got a fourth out ounce and I got a half ounce jig. Both in black and blue, because that's what I'm throwing this time of year. And trailers for those are trailers that I like a lot, which is the the Crop Happy. They're Yum Crop Happies. And the thing I like about them is they have hollow heads in them, so they float up and they have that real defensive position like a crawfish has. And these are really good trailers for any jigs. I like the Crop Happies. Alright, now I got some Zoom Brush Hogs. I got three packs. I got green pumpkin and I got black and blue and these brush hogs I'm gonna be Texas rigging and flipping and pitching tomorrow in Sankris so I'm gonna be hitting a lot of wood with these and there's also the thing about Sankris is there's some lily pad fields which aren't gonna be grown this time of year but there's gonna be stumps from last year which I'm gonna pitch these around and see if I can get any bites on alright last I got a Strike King 5XD, it's an extra deep diving crankbait, it's going to dive about 15 feet. And this is a, a chartreuse yellow one, and uh, I'm going to be using this once again at like Clinton, St. Chris, uh, muddy water places. And yeah, uh, I like the Strike King crankbaits, I always go Strike King. Alright guys, this trip total out to be $120. Uh, yeah, and I'll probably go back to Bass Pro again another time in a couple weeks, so you're probably going to see another unboxing. And thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe for more content to come. Alright, now, I'm going to show you guys how to rig and when to throw a drop shot. Now, first I'm going to talk about when to throw one. Usually, when you're throwing a drop shot, it's super clear water, and you can't get bit, no matter what you do. And it's a real finesse type style of fishing. So, what you're going to do is you're going to find use your electronics or sight fish if the water is super clear. But you're going to take your electronics and you're going to find individual fish on the electronics. Usually, this is deeper water, anywhere from 8 to 15 foot. And you're going to find the fish and you're going to cast to, to them, and instead of working it or anything, you're going to hold your rod as still as you can, but keeping it tight. So, But keep it tight so the weight, you can feel the weight on the bottom, but don't move it. And uh, no one stays still. You're going to shake, and even if you're trying to stay still, you're going to shake, and that worm is really going to be dancing under the water. So that's when to throw a drop shot. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to rig one rig a drop shot. I'm going to start off talking about line. Usually, 
you'll go really light line. Six to eight pound fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is key because it sinks. And I usually go Seagar and Vizex. This is 12 pound, but usually go six to eight. Seagar and Vizex is one of the some of the best fluorocarbon on the market. Um, it's really strong and thin for its uh, thin for its weight for its test. So that's the line you want to use. All right, go out and get yourself some drop shot hooks. They're a lot like circle hooks. And the knot we're gonna tie here is the Palomar knot. So you always go through the top of your eye on your hook. And you're going to want to pull out about a foot and a half of line. And then you're going to go back through the bottom so the line is doubled up. Now, once you have it doubled up, you're going to make a loop like this. An overhand loop. So go over the line and then back underneath. And you're going to want to have a lot longer leader than you normally would with a Palomar knot. Because the leader is what's tied to the weight. So now that you have your loop here, you're going to wet it and go through the hook. Have or have the hook go through the loop like this. And always have the point of your hook pointing towards the outside of the loop. And I'll show you what happens if you don't. So once you cinch it down, if you don't, you're going to be pulling up on your main line. And it's going to be like this. The hook is going to be pointing down. What you want to do to fix that is go back through the eye again and then it's gonna stand up straight on your on your line so just alright now that you have your hook standing straight out on your line you're gonna take the tag end usually you wanna have about a six inch tag end and tie an overhand knot in it just like a normal overhand knot so that you have a little bump in it just a knot now, the way these weights are designed, this is a 4-ounce drop shot weight. They make, uh, they make all sorts of different weights. I usually stick to 4-ounce or 3 eighths, depending on how deep I'm fishing. And they make two different types of weights. They make the cylinder ones and the sphere ones like this, the teardrop ones. And teardrop typically does a lot better in rock. The cylinders are better in grass and vegetation because it's not going to get hung up. But the head is designed on here so that you can change these out. It's kind of fatter down here and uh, smaller at the top. And so once you have this knot tied in the line right here, you're just going to take it and you're going to go through the fatter part of the eye like this. And once you have it through the fatter part of the eye, if I can get mine in there, all right. Once you have that knot through the fatter part of the eye, you just pop the weight down like this. So it's in the skinnier part of the eye, and it's going to get caught up on that knot. So this is what a drop shot should look like once it's finished. And you're going to take your, your uh, soft plastics. You can do all sorts of soft plastics. You can do like a zoom trick worm. You can do flukes. Uh, you can do uh, the Strike King Caffeine Shatter, a pretty good one. Uh, so take your drop shot worm, and I'm going to show you how to put that on next.